Hello, amazing hackers. Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. So I get asked this question a lot. Uncle Red, how do I get into bug bounties? That's a great question. I got some tips for you. Let's start with tip number one. I think not enough people spend time looking at their targets for long enough. You know, when you're doing some sniping, you try to dial in on your target, you try to hit it, you try to look right, then you unlock your safety and you do it. So you might ask yourself, okay, Uncle Red, then how long exactly should I spend looking down the barrel of my loaded gun? Well, my friends, that can be a long time. That can be sometimes weeks, even months. That can be a long time that you have to stalk your target. You know, a hunter in the wild doesn't only shoot either so why do you think hackers only hack we do stalking enumeration 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 this is what try what oscp is also trying to teach us and i think we should take wise lessons from this because it's really important that you scope out everything that you really go deep and try to discover all of the functionalities because you might think that there isn't a lot to test but there's a hell of a lot to test out there and you might be thinking, okay, other people might have been sneaking in this field before me, but who knows, maybe you have a different gun, maybe you have a different way of exploiting or a different way of doing things. So just give it a shot, take your time, explore and explore and explore, use your target until you're extremely bored of it and you don't wanna go no more. So really take your time and go for it. Don't just rush in. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And then we arrive at one of potentially my biggest tips. Don't just throw stuff out there. Number two, test wisely. Because as you might see here, okay, I have a search field. A lot of people will test for reflection. Every single parameter you should be testing for reflection, determining the context that the reflection is happening in, and then going for cross-site scripting, for example. Also, single quote, double quote, back tick, you know, the SQL injection stuff. Really test wisely here. So that means that whenever I enter a field like this, I do single quote, double quote, uh, back tick, all of this together. Then I do a greater than sign to break out of any context, uh, any HTML tag attribute context, that is. Enter my random string, and then I'm just going to enter a random image a broken image and i'm going to copy that and i'm going to enter it everywhere in the application and if i see a broken image i'm going to dig deeper if i see a 500 error i'm going to dig deeper might be sql injection might be something happening in the background that's making it fail always able try to see if you're able to leverage that stuff so really 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 be careful that you test very thoroughly but you don't test every single parameter for every single thing out there test hard but also test smart holy freaking hell dude did you see the amount of targets that there are these are just the public targets and my friends if I log into my account here, you'll see how many invites that there are. I'm not going to do it right now because you'll also see those invites and the, 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 the programs want to stay private, of course. That's why it's a private invite. Now, realistically, holy crap, holy crap. There's just too much choice. So pick your targets wisely. There's so much out there. Don't go for a bank that is 100 dollars to fifteen thousand dollars don't go for this one because it's a as you can see a e-health hub okay vzn kul you know what kul is that is ku that is the university that's going to be really hard to hack especially also the access routers data camp that might be more interesting for you vida excel never heard of but maybe uh, as you see online retailer web shops avoid them in the beginning why because web shops don't have that much functionality and you'll have to spend money to test everything then we go on to yacht responsible disclosure connecting professionals might be interesting because you can get private invites here so go and take a look then we also have Ronstadt. Ronstadt is a good one because if you really do find a the critical, they might, I'm not saying they will, they might give you a bonus. Who knows? 
it's a possibility. Sixth, sixth, mm, it's a car renting company. Do you really want to test a car renting company? You know games, game hacking, fun, go for it. Housing application, Caillou Leuven, whenever I see that, I avoid it in the beginning. Then we have people third VDP. This might be interesting. Responsible disclosure for VRT. I know that they have a gigantic scope. Might be a little bit intimidating in the beginning. VTM Go. This is something that I don't think is very interesting because it's a streaming service. It's me is going to be hello good protected and you need to live in Belgium to properly test it. Bloom up. Bloom up might be interesting for you to check out because I know that they're not that super secure. They have responsible disclosure. You can test quite a few things on there. Uh, and then we have Suivo. Suivo is one of my favorites in here. Tracking vehicles, a lot of functionality, a lot of things to test for. Igor, also a great one that you can have a look at. There are great ones out there, but it's harder to pick out the right ones from the stack. So I hope that this gave you a little bit of an idea, but I also have videos on how to pick a target properly. So I'll put that up on the screen right now, if that's still a thing. And otherwise I'll link it in the description below. Now, this is the next tip number four pertaining to the OS top 10. While I think this is an amazing resource and it's great, great for pen testing, I think it's less good for bug bounties, my friends. Don't be suckered in by this because, of course, it's really interesting to have a look at this, like, okay, what can happen? But it's much more interesting to look at the, CV, the CWEs that they reference and not even all of them. Like security logging and monitoring failures, don't fucking show that in bug bounties and especially not if it's just like, oh, you didn't catch my attack. That's something you shouldn't log in bug bounties, it's not really going to happen. On the other hand, insecure design, good luck bringing that up. Insecure design, <laughs> they're gonna laugh at you. Uh, so, if you really, really, really want to have a good list, what I suggest is go to a bug bounty platform like Integrity, make an account, and just click create a bug. They're going to give you a choice of categories. Have a look among those categories. Not all of them are going to be very relevant to your bug bounty journey, but some of them will be. And they're going to help you a lot because you're going to get new ideas and new inspiration of bugs to learn. And my fifth and final tip, don't focus too much on vulnerability types and what you should be testing for. Just test stuff like trying to log in without a captcha filling it in, trying to log in with username, password, test, password, Username test, password test, I mean, of course, silly rat, of course. And of course, you can try other things like, for example, you log out, then you log back in as a new account. I don't know, I don't have a new account ready right now, but you go to your user settings, you inspect it, you just look around, you just try to break shit. What is this form? Really interesting. Oh, that's really, really cool. Oh, what do I see here? Is admin? Value zero? Why not one? Why not make ourselves administrator? Oh, nothing happened. Just going to continue. I'm not administrator. Log out, log in again uh, as the same user, just so I know that, that everything from my session is cleared and, and I'm logged in again. There we go. Now I might be admin. It's really, really important that you just mess around and don't focus too much on the vulnerability types. Have fun, because the moment you make this about money, the moment you make this about hunting and you have to, have to, have to get something, you won't get something. Just don't focus on the bugs, follow your red intuition and the bugs will come to you, my friends. Good luck, I wish you a million bounties and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.